Hi big besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a what I got for Christmas video and I've seen Hannah Elise make these videos in the past and I absolutely love them. I don't know, I just love seeing what people got for Christmas and I do want to preface this by saying that this is in no way, shape, or form bragging about the things that I got. I am very, very grateful for the gifts that my friends and family got me. This is just a fun video to show you guys what I got for Christmas. I love watching these videos and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. Um, I don't have a ton of battery. I'm looking at it. I don't have a ton of battery, so let's get this show going. If you hear heavy breathing, it's not me. It's my dog. She's here. She won't leave me alone. She's literally like stuck by my side. She won't leave me alone. So, and also, if I'm looking a little bit extra today, maybe a little extra raggedy because this is after date night. I was on a date night. I was celebrating my seven year dating anniversary with my husband and I literally have a food baby and I'm this close into falling into a food coma, but we're not gonna do that because I have a schedule of things I wanna film and we're gonna get it done. So let's get right into this video and let me show you what I got. Why are you breathing so heavy, girl? Why are you breathing so heavy? <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you can you sit? Ma'am, remove thy paws. Alrighty, well I'm gonna get started because she literally won't leave my side. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start pulling gifts at random and the very first thing that I picked up is a candle and this is the collection by Chesapeake Bay Candle and it is leather oak oh, and it smells so good so my oldest daughter got me this one she knows that I love candles oh, and it just smells so good so I can never have too many candles I'm so excited to have this She's finally at the age where she has a little money in her bank and she got her father a birthday gift with her own money and a Christmas gift and she got me a little Christmas gift with her own money and it's just so sweet because she really doesn't have to do that and it's not like she has a ton of money, she's not working, this is just like allowance and birthday money and things like that and it smells amazing so I'm definitely going to get some good use out of that. Um, the next thing I'm going to pull out is this big old bag. That my best friend got me and all of my little gifts are kind of put into there so i'm just gonna pull them out and show you guys and i will also leave some links down below for these gifts just in case you guys want to purchase it for yourself or purchase it for someone else even if it's not christmas for a birthday or for whatever um i'll link some of them down below but the first thing that she got me was the book seat it's like a little bean bag for your books so you can be on your bed or on your recliner on your couch relaxing you prop this up on some pillows or on your blankets or whatever and you can put your book in here and it has this little thing so you can pull it out and then you put your book in and then you go ahead and you fasten it back so that your book doesn't move I found this on Amazon and I had it on my Amazon wish list that I shared with her and my husband and she just so happened to pick this one up for me and I am in love with this thing. I just used it for my Kindle which is great because you don't have to flip the pages or anything. You know, you're just, it's on a screen which is even better because you don't have to like take this out and put it back in, you know. But I absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Alexa. I definitely will be getting some good use out of that. The next thing she got me are these yogurt chocolates. I believe they're German chocolates. But these are my absolute favorite. And I forgot. This was, I think, a job that I had back in Jersey way back before I moved here. So like eight, nine years ago. Um, and I believe someone bought these in from their trip to Europe and ever since then I've been obsessed with these things and I don't buy them often because I will eat them all um, but they're so good I'm so glad that she got them for me this is what they look like they're so 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 good they have a bunch of different flavors but the strawberry one is obviously my favorite and going along with Oh, my battery's dying fast. Good lord. All right. And going along with the candies, she got me some Haribo Rainbow Savers. These are so dang good. They're like um, tropical flavored ones. Ugh, they're just so damn good. So she got me a pack of these, which are absolutely delicious. So I will definitely be enjoying these in a little bit. And she got me, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's those like post-it note things that you... Um, every time that you take one off, it starts forming something. So by the time you finish at the very end of the year, it'll have like the shape of something there. And it's the Hogwarts castle, which I freaking love. This is amazing. So I'm going to put this on my desk 
Um, and come January 1st, I'm going to rip the first one off and then every day I'll keep ripping them off until I have the Hogwarts castle formed, which I think is so cute. So I definitely, definitely love this one. Thank you so much, Alexa. I know you watch my videos. Um, and if you don't, girl, you're my best friend. Why are you not watching my videos? I know she watches them. Um... Now what I got from my mom was a printer. I needed it for my small business um, and I am not going to share that just yet because it's still kind of in the works. I do have my logo. I worked with a graphic design artist and I have my logo and all of like the logistical things pretty much squared away but now it's actually time to start producing some of these things so once I do I will share it with you guys but I'm so excited to get into this little side project this little side hustle for the new year so yeah I got a printer and I'll put a picture of it up on the screen and link it down below it's just a very simple inkjet, inkjet printer is all I really need to get me started um, so I got that from my mom and I will insert a picture but my good friend Jenny got me a wine tasting kind of DIY box situation. It's so freaking cute. It has this little like wine wheel that has like the different fl uh, aromas and subcategories and all of that stuff. And it has these little uh, papers so that you can taste the wine. There's six bottles, small little bottles. It says it can be for up to four people, <laughs> which is laughable because now I'm gonna drink it by myself. No, but seriously, it's such a cute idea and you basically grab the wine, whether it's number one, two, three, four, five or six, I think there's six of them, and you get to taste it and you have this little chart that you can write off um, and check off like if you feel like it is fruity or if it is a little bit more dry or whatever it is. And you have like your own like wine tasting experience at home, which I think is so freaking cool. I love going to wine tastings with my friends. Um, so I think this is really, really cool. And I have been trying to expand my uh, wine palette and trying to be a little bit more mature and a little bit more sophisticated with my wine and like pairing wines with my pasta or with my desserts or whatever I'm trying we're getting there so her gift is such a cool idea and I so appreciate it um, I don't have it here because I have it down in my wine cooler but I will post a picture of it um, and I really really like that and she also got me a Target gift card and I took that Target gift card and I purchased some books so let me show you what I got. So I'm not going to go into crazy detail about these just yet because my camera battery is dying a bit and I don't want to make this video extremely long so I'm just going to go off and list off the books that I did get and yeah. So these two books are by Sarah Kate and they are from the Salacious Players or Salacious Club? Salacious Players Club? Salacious? Salacious Players Club is right on the cover. The Salacious Players Club and the very first book is Praise Me which was a 5 out of 5 stars for me. I really love that book. It was so damn good and there's a few other books in the series and uh, I got Give Me More and Mercy. Um, there are some other books in the series. Pray Eyes on Me. That's the one that I need to get. So I'm missing Eyes on Me. I believe I have Praise as a paperback copy. Um, so yeah, Eyes on Me is what I'm missing but I got these two from Sarah Kate. And this one is by Sierra Simone and it is called Saint. And this one, um, I have the paperback of Priest and Sinner. I've read P Priest, I haven't read Sinner. So I definitely want to start reading that in the new year. But this is the third book in the series and it is called Saint. And these are um, very spicy, definitely a little controversial if you're very religious <laughs> and are very like, you know what I mean? You might not like these. I love them though. So I got Saint. This one was on sale for like $8 and some change and I've heard about it before but I don't know too too much about it um, but it's called Belladonna and the cover is freaking beautiful. It's so pretty uh, and it says death waits for no one except her. I don't know but I've seen it around TikTok and I've seen it around like booktube so I'm excited to get into this in the new year and I kind of want to go into it blind so like I don't want to read the back of it just because I just want to go into it without knowing you know what I mean so I got that one and the last book that I picked up with this Target gift card is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren I've heard so much about this book um but I just haven't got in a chance to get to it um, and it was 20% off so I figured I would pick this one up so Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren 
And going along with the book theme, I'm going to get into some gifts that I got from my cousin and um, his wife. Really, it's his wife buying the gifts. Let's be let's be real here. But it's from all of them. Um, so I got a $25 Barnes & Noble's gift card, which you know. You know I'm going to use this one up. Um, so I got that. And then she also got me one of these... Um, these clear book vases, 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 a clear book vase. And I didn't realize that my husband got me one of these, so I'm so happy that I got another one because now I can have one behind my like computer setup, like on my little desk, which you guys have seen it with the dead flowers. That's the one. But I have another one now that I can actually put in my bookshelf. And I think what I'm going to do is order those real looking uh, flowers, maybe like some pretty tulips or something, which are, tulips are my favorite. So maybe like some pretty little pink tulips or something, just so that I don't have to keep buying fresh flowers to put into them. Um, so I might do that for this one and then leave the one that my husband got me so that he can give me fresh flowers and I can just keep refilling it. If you're watching this husband, they're dead, okay? They've been dead for like the last two videos, sir. I think I need some new flowers. Thank you. But these, I'm gonna do fake, uh, realistic looking tulip. Another gift that she got me that I will insert a picture of, which I think is freaking hilarious, is a like wine glass, but I have it with all of my wine stuff. Um, so I will insert a picture of that. And the very last thing that they got me was this DIY miniature kit. Have you guys seen those like little wooden book nook things? I actually had it on my list of um, bookish gift guide, 25 gifts under $25. Um, this one though is like the legit one. They're not $25. They're a hell of a lot more expensive. So I am so, so, so grateful and appreciative for this gift. I am in love and I can't wait to get into this. It literally, it has lights guys. It has lights. It has little tiny details. It has everything. I'm so excited to get into this. Um, but this is what it looks like. See if it picks up. Tell me that's not cute. I'm so excited. So it has a ton of pieces. Girl, there's wires and stuff in here. But that is going to be a project, not for tonight, but definitely very, very soon. I absolutely love this gift. Um, probably one of my favorite gifts that I've gotten. Uh, it's just, it's so freaking cute. And I know that once it's done and completed, it's going to look so cute on my bookshelf. I cannot wait. So that is everything that I got from my family, my cousin and his wife. Thank you so much. The last few things that I have here are gifts that my husband gave me and then gifts that I purchased um, from with gift cards that I got from work. So I will show you those as well. But then I think I'm pretty much done. So let's get into what my husband got me with this being the first thing. This is a Stanley. It's a jug. It's not a mug. Okay, it's a jug. I don't always drink as much water as I'm supposed to and he's just looking out for my health and making sure that I stay hydrated so I fill this bad boy up and I drink it throughout the day I aim to have one of these a day ideally two but I'm actually thirsty right now ideally two but I mean you know we're we're, we're, we're getting ourselves prepared for the 2024 healthy era you know what I mean um so I got this huge old Stanley jug which I'm so grateful for because I put ice in this thing and like the next day it still has ice in it it's amazing the two other things that he got me I knew that he got them for me um, because I was at a store and I had texted him and I'm like, hey babe, could you check and see if like this Best Buy has the Apple um, keyboard and mouse? Because um, I'm like, I really need it. So I don't have a laptop. I have this big old iPad Pro. It's like a computer. My husband got it for me and that's what I do my editing on, which has been working out just fine, but it would be so much easier if I had a mouse and a keyboard, you know? So I text him that. And he goes and he replies, he's like, you can't buy that or something like that. Something along the lines of like, you can't buy that or whatever. And I'm thinking like, well, why the heck not? Like, do they not have it there? Like, is it not good? In my head, I literally thought, is it like not good? Is there something better that I could be getting? And it didn't settle into my little brain for a second until I was like, oh, because he got it for Christmas. He's like, yes, I got it for Christmas. So I had the magic um mouse and then i also have the magic keyboard and this is going to change the game when it comes to editing because 
It'll make things so much faster and be so much more efficient. So I'm super excited to have this and so freaking grateful because editing on my iPad with just my little finger, mm -mm. it is not it, okay? It is not the vibe. This is the vibe. I really hope that this is focused on me. Okay, but the last, um, is this what he got me, the, the last two gifts? Yeah, the last two gifts that he got me uh, were these uh, bookends and they are beautiful they're heavy as hell first of all um but the detail on these are absolutely beautiful so he got me slytherin and gryffindor i'm gryffindor he's slytherin um they're just so freaking nice so let me show you up close this is what they look like oh my god look at that oh beautiful that's what she looks like and this is what the Gryffindor one looks like it's in gold and it's so pretty so I got that and then for my stocking stuffer let me grab it for my stocking stuffer he got me these hello panda chocolate cookies I got two bags of these and I have like the Haribo sour streamers like the strips um, which are my favorite sour candies and these are my favorite it started me talking <laughs> these are my favorite um little cookie things they're so dang good um so i got these for my stocking stuffers and normally we just do candy and stuff like that in our stocking stuffers and because we buy all these like small little gifts and then the stocking is full they fall off of the thing so now we just stick with candy and then everything else that we get like little knickknacks that we pick up for the girls and like facials and beauty stuff and all that we just put it in a bag and we give it to them separately so this is what I got for my stocking and I did mention that I was out today on a date night so our um, anniversary is on December 25th he asked me to be his girlfriend on December 25th seven years ago and actually he gave me this necklace uh, which was the very first gift that I got from him so I put it on today so for our anniversary, he got me um, a Barnes & Noble's gift card because he knows, he knows I'm going to use this up. So he gave me $100 for my Barnes & Noble's gift card. And today we went out to go eat to this restaurant called um, Texas de Brazil, which is like a steakhouse kind of thing where you have those little, those little thingies. You know what I mean? That if it's red, they came, they come by and they bring meat like on these big old skewers. And when you flip it over or when it's green, they bring meat. When it's red, you flip it over and it's red, they stop bringing meat. You know what I mean? That's what I got. Um, but then we stopped by Target and he picked up these two books for me. And it is The Coworker by Frida McFadden. I am so, so, so excited to read this book. I love Frida McFadden's work. She did, um, or she wrote The Housemaids and that is one of my favorite books for 2023 um so i'm excited to read this one and the other one he got me is a demon's guide to wooing a witch i just thought this was cute and witty um and it was also whoops it was also 20 percent off so pick this up as well all right sorry my camera um battery died but got a new one in and let's finish this up so um the last few gifts i got off of Amazon because I received a gift card um, or gift cards for from my job so I used those to pick up a few things on Amazon so the first thing that I picked up with those gift cards um, from Amazon is this like lash um, washing kit like uh, I have eyelash extensions so it's like the little shampoo with the little water rinsey thing and the soft little brush I ran out of the one that I have so I picked up another um, little pack of this and then the next thing I got is an otter box because my loving golden retriever jumped on me and I dropped my phone but it fell face down and it had like a crack and now there's like a line on my screen. So I'm waiting for my new phone to come in. Thank goodness I have insurance on it. But I figured I would get myself an otter box because I know that they're like raised. Um, so if it does fall, it shouldn't touch my actual screen. So I picked this one up here which is just like a really nice um, neutral beige cream kind of color and I have a black um, 
pop socket wallet that I'm going to transfer over here because I got some extra like sticky tabs. So I'm going to transfer over my black pop socket wallet to this one, but I'm going to change the actual pop socket. I don't have it on me because it's still not here, but I'll put a picture of it. And it just has like this gold detailing with these black and white flowers. It's very pretty. And I thought that it could like tie everything in together, you know, like the beige with the black you know it kind of ties it in together so I picked up this phone case and I also picked up a pack of um like the glass tempered screen protector for the phone and then these are the extra little sticky tabs for the pop socket wallet so I got that I picked up these little tiny gold hoop earrings that I thought were so cute let me see if that'll focus this is what they look like. They're just tiny little gold hoop earrings that I think are adorable. Am I focused? Yeah. And then the last thing I picked up with the gift cards um, is the book Hopeless by Elsie Silver. This I was waiting for it to go on sale because all of the other ones I got them on sale. And I think this one was like $12 and some change from the original like $17. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Give me like five minutes. I'm talking to them like they're human. <laughs> Alright, sit down. Can you sit down? Sit down. I think, oh wow. Wow, you brought me a toy. So sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> and then the last two things are more of like my honorable mentions. These are gifts that I pretty much got myself. <laughs> because why not? But Megan Quinn put out this post on Instagram a while back that she was coming out with a 10 year anniversary edition of a not so meat cute which is from the Kane Brothers series and this is one of the very first series that I read when I started getting back into reading beginning of 2023 and this is my freaking favorite book out of this series. It is my absolute favorite. I love Huxley and Lottie. They're my favorite couple and I got this book. It's so cute. Look at this cover. Oh my goodness. So I picked this one up and it comes in with a little card that has her signature, whoop, this way, her signature, as well as a bookmark. Oh, it's just so freaking cute. So I picked this one up for myself. And then the last one that I picked up for myself was Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. I read Divine Rivals, which is an amazing fantasy story, amazing fantasy book if you have not read it. And this is the second part to it, so I am so excited to get into this book. But yeah, so I picked this one up as a gift to myself. So that, I'm trying to think. Is that all I got? And I got my husband, my son, Johnny, my mom, work, myself, talk. But that concludes... The gifts that I got this Christmas 2023 I am so incredibly grateful to my family and my friends for thinking of me for getting me gifts that they felt reminded them of me or that they felt like I would really really enjoy I am just so overwhelmed and so grateful always all of the time and I do love giving gifts as well it's one of my favorite parts of this whole Christmas season is giving gifts to people that I love and I like to take time and be really thoughtful with my gifts um so I have been becoming a better gift receiver I feel like I had a very hard time for a while like receiving gifts and it's just like so awkward for me because kind of like when they sing you happy birthday and you're like standing there and you're like hmm, okay it was one of those kinds of things but um I don't know I guess the older I get I'm just so grateful and not that I wasn't grateful before, but I guess it's just easier for me to express that gratitude now. But yeah, thank you so much to all my family and friends for all these amazing gifts. I am so appreciative. And hopefully you guys liked this video. You guys got to see a little bit of what I got for Christmas. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys got for Christmas and what was your favorite gift of all. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!